you keep your teeth so clean? You don't even brush them. <laughs> what time are you supposed to leave for the dentist? As soon as Mom's ready. How come Doc doesn't have to have her teeth cleaned? Oh, but she does. Doc Weaver cleans them. As a matter of fact, he told me it's just as important for dogs to have their teeth cleaned as it is for people. And I'm people. All ready, Timmy? You're wearing a hat. Yes. Well, what are you staring at? You've seen a woman wear a hat before. This is the first time I've seen you with a hat. Well, what's the occasion? You're just taking Timmy to the dentist. Well, I didn't mean to upset the household. I just felt like wearing a hat, that's all. Don't you like it? Well... Women do like to dress up sometimes, you know. I like it. Maybe. I guess. Well, thank you, Timmy. Uh... Isn't that the hat that I've never liked? It's the only hat. And it's four years old, and it never saw Paris. Why don't you just come right out and say you don't like it on me? Would you mind? It just doesn't do anything for you. Well, I sort of hoped I'd do something for the hat. It's very possible. Can I go to the dentist office alone? Are you sure you want to? I feel like a baby when I sit in the chair and you stand there. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. All right, you go in alone, and Lassie and I will take a walk around the block. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Bye, Lassie. Yes, I'd like to ask you about that little hat in the window. Isn't that the loveliest bonnet you've ever seen? It's a copy of an original from New York. Oh, my. How much is it? We just put it in the window this morning. Why don't you sit down over there, ma'am, and you can try it on. All right. My, you're a beautiful dog. You know, I, I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> How much did you say it is? Now, hold your breath. You're going to love this. There. It was just made for you. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I can't imagine anyone else wearing it. You really think it does something for me? Well, I'd say you do something for the hat. How much did you say it is? Only $14.95. Oh, it just makes me feel so elegant. <laughs> Did you say $14.95? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even consider it. I don't know what's gotten into me. I must be losing my senses. But, ma'am... I'm sorry. It, I shouldn't have troubled you. I'm afraid I just can't afford such luxuries. Well, it was just made for you. Well, thank you very much, but... I, I, I really have no need for it, and I... Well, I shouldn't even have considered it. I'm sorry I took your time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Some things just go together. Lassie, why don't you go out and play for a couple of hours? Timmy won't be home for quite a while yet. 
Ruth, I'm gonna drive into Calverton to get a new axe handle. Anything you want while I'm there? No, I can't think of a thing. Okay, I'll be back in about an hour. <coughs> What's the matter, girl? Well, what's she begging for? Maybe she wants to go for a ride with you into Calverton. Timmy's class has an outing, so she's lonely. Oh, you don't want to go for a ride, do you, girl? Stop teasing her. Okay, come on. <laughs> Come on, girl. What's gotten into you? Why, that's the same beautiful collie that was here the other day. You mean Lassie was here a couple of days ago at this shop? <laughs> well, there aren't many dogs as distinctive looking as that one. She was with a lady, a very lovely lady, in fact. Well, I suppose it could have been my wife. She tried on that bonnet. It looked charming on her. Well, my wife's about, uh, well, she's about, well, <laughs> and she has sort of a taffy gold hair and a very pretty mouth and blue eyes. Yes, I, I guess it must have been Ruth, all right. You see, she tried it on. And she looked like a picture. Did she like it? Oh, she adored it. Actually, for a moment, I was certain she was going to buy it. She really looked like a picture, huh? <laughs> well, as I said to her, ma'am, this bonnet was just made for you. <laughs> I get the point. <laughs> to hide this for a few days until I need it. Quiet. You got me into this and don't spoil it now. She had us there for a minute. Thanks for everything, girl. I don't know what we'd do without you. Well, did you enjoy your ride into town? Hi, dear. How tall are you? Hmm? How tall are you? Between five and six feet. That's what I thought. Anything else you want to know? And, uh, hair, sort of taffy gold. That's right. Blue eyes. A pretty mouth. A very pretty mouth. Where's Uncle Petrie? He's out in the north field, mending the fence. I better go help him. I wonder what's gotten into him. Now, what's the matter with you? I wish I knew what you're trying to tell me. I'm just not in tune with things today.
not now. Did you find this? Oh, hello, Jenny. J Jenny, would you get me the women's finery, please? It's, it's a little shop in Calverton. Women's finery. Hello, uh, this is Mrs. Paul Martin. Uh, yes, I was in your shop the other day, and I tried on a, a little hat that was in the window. A little pink one? Yes. Well, I was in there with my dog, uh, a, a big collie. Oh, yes, Mrs. Martin. I see. Well, I, I was wondering if you could give me some explanation. I'm c kind of bewildered about it. Well, I'm really not supposed to say anything, Mrs. Martin. Mr. Martin swore me to secrecy about the surprise and... Oh, dear. Well, then, you mean my husband bought it for me? Well, how did he know? <laughs> well, I'm more confused now than ever. Oh, I see. Oh, my, yes. Well, then, that was a coincidence. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'll, I'll keep the secret. I wouldn't want to spoil it for him, or for me. All right. Well, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Lassie, where did Paul have this hidden? You have to put it right back where you got it. Here you go now. Lassie, here, girl, now please take this back to where you got it. Come on. That's a girl. Good girl. Lassie? Come on now, Lassie. Come on, please, you have to put it back. Come on, Lassie, hurry up. Come on, that's a girl. I can't believe it. Makes a nice change for Uncle Petrie to have his supper out. Probably be the fastest meal on record. When he and Irv Simmons get together, nothing counts except their cribbage game. <laughs> What's this? A pillow. I want you to be comfortable. How come? Well, why shouldn't you be comfortable? Did 
did you notice something about Mom tonight? She had sort of a funny look. Even if you thought so, you wouldn't say anything. Come on, Lassie. Think of something to do. What is it? It's nothing but a hat. It's probably been here for years. Mom. Oh, thank you. I think they'll do nicely. The new hat looked awful pretty. But this will be prettier than the old one. Won't Dad know the difference? Oh, I'm hoping with all my heart that he won't. It was all my fault. I spoiled Dad's present for you. Oh, you had no way of knowing. It was unfortunate, but it wasn't your fault. But it isn't the same hat now. To me, it isn't the gift that counts. It's the thought behind it. Let me tell you a little secret. What men see and what they think they see are really two different things. And this old hat will be in the new box. Now it's your move. And you move here. 
Now it's my move again. Too bad. You made a wrong move. You lose and I win for the eighth time. I feel a little silly asking, but uh, couldn't you let Lassie win just one? Just for the principle of the thing? She really doesn't mind, Mom. And it makes me feel good. Ready for another Lassie? Then I'll play a practice game. According to the paper, there's going to be a grand concert in Capital City. Sounds pretty fancy. Oh, I'd love to go to a concert. Would you really? Mm-hmm. Would you? I already bought tickets for Saturday night. Paul. I wasn't going to tell you until morning, but there's something else you ought to know. I got you a little present besides. A present besides the tickets? Lassie, go on up in the loft and get the box. The loft. The box. Imagine. It's the hat. Do you really like it? Oh, how can you ask? Beautiful hat I've ever owned. Try it on. All right. There. How does it look? I like it. You look pretty. You know something? It looks beautiful on you. Thanks to me. Fella has to dress well, especially if he's trying to impress his best girl. I wonder what's keeping your mother so long. Aren't women supposed to be late? I'm ready. Golly! Well, are we all ready? Ready, dear. Oh, no. We're using the front door tonight. I'm not passing through that back door dressed like this. But the car's right out here. No, it's not. I had Uncle Petrie drive it around front. You're right. You look absolutely front door. And uh, now that you've got a new hat, would you do me a favor, please? Throw that horrible old hat away. Oh, my darling, I already have. Good night, dear. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. My arm? Thank you. There's so many things I don't understand, Lassie. Ooh. 